No, I, I look at these things as part of a business cycle. The, the curve goes up and down, up and down. So I would not be that much uh, worried. What is important is during a downturn, it is very, very important that every employee of the company works very hard perhaps works harder than during normal times. They satisfy the client more and more and increase their market share within the total market size that is shrinking. So in a downturn, the market shrinks a little bit. Indeed. And our charter is very clear. We work even harder and then we take a slightly larger market share then you would not have any issue of uh, job losses. The second point is whenever there is a downturn in the US or in the developed world, there is a bigger opportunity for uh, uh, countries like India, particularly in my sector, because they are trying to get better value for money. And when they try to get better value for money, I think the solution automatically points to India in, in my sector. And therefore, if you notice, the top five Indian companies have been growing very well. You know, and when they announce their results, they have done a very good job. So therefore, the fact that there is downturn, there are job losses in the US, it in some sense means that there is a greater opportunity for countries like India, which provide better value for money. And the lesson for the US corporations is to ensure that they improve their productivity, they reduce their cost automatically, even without depending on countries like India, China, etc. And I think that is the way to move forward. I'm just curious, sir, during your tenure at Enforces, what was your approach towards managing employee costs and keeping costs under check? Because operating profit margins and employee costs are extremely yeah, important, like yeah. you said, in the business, yeah. right? You know, was there a consistent approach you had? Absolutely. I, you know, there. Every cost in a company can be looked at as fixed and variable, can be looked at as direct and indirect. These are the two classifications for every cost. The, the task of a leader is to ensure that fixed costs are minimized and or fixed costs are converted to variable costs. Because the good thing about variable costs is if there is a downturn, if you don't sell much, you will not incur those variable costs. Similarly, the responsibility of leaders is to reduce indirect costs, which are called overhead costs, and focus on converting indirect costs to direct costs. Therefore, if there is the, the market shrinks, then direct costs also go down. So that's exactly what we did whenever we had a downturn. We reduced our fixed costs or converted them to variable costs. We reduced our indirect costs and converted them to direct costs.